Okay, guys, welcome to game two between Free and Beast. Who have got cholera alongside in game one? I have to say, free did not look impressive. Part of it was just a build order loss, in my opinion. Bisu uh, just went for a better build order over free. But honestly, that's the problem. Free, uh, prior to this, when he was not playing very well, when he was showing up in the MSLs, but subsequently getting knocked out, it was because he was going with standard play. I think if he's going to take these series down, he's got to mix it up, which is what I felt like he did against Jadong, and uh, in particular what he did against Jadong, and what he also did uh, against basically every other opponent leading up to this point. And uh, so we'll see if he can pull it out here. Looks like we have free starting at the 6 o'clock position in blue, and if there's a map where he's going to do it, it's this, it's Medusa. And we also have, it looks like, um, so <laughs> I wanted to say Firebat Hero randomly for a second there. We have Bisu starting at the uh, 11 o'clock, uh, about 10.30 position, I would say, <clears throat> in red. And uh, yeah, Medusa, it's one of those maps where you can actually mix it up, you can do something creative. I'm hoping Free will show us something here. Uh, but game one, yeah, not looking, uh, looking kind of like his former self, where he's just kind of the standard safe player who's solid in that, but ultimately ends up losing uh, because of reasons like this. Bisu takes risks, he ends up winning free play standard, he ends up losing. Uh, I don't think when you're coming into these final rounds like this, you can play safe and expect to win. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, this is what Stork was uh, used to be con considered one of his great faults was that in the later stages he would stick to really standard play and would lose because of that because it was predictable. And free last game, uh, frankly, just didn't look um, very creative at all. But uh, we'll see if Bisu, uh, you know, we'll see rather if free decides to pull up some creativity on this map. I do think Reavers are a very good option on Medusa. I also think that um, since it's easy to deny a scout, uh, rushes are definitely a viable option. You know, three gate goons, fast Reavers, all these are. are very viable options here. Um, also, fast expanse uh, really have a gamut of options, and it comes down to uh, getting getting rid of um, the probe scouts not only from the front, but also from the uh, temple trick that you can get the probe scouts into the back of your base. Uh, both players going opening up with looks like uh, ten gates here, and uh, most likely going to open up with tech builds. Um, we'll, we'll have to see though. Uh, free, you know. I, I don't dislike Free. I think he's just been playing amazingly recently, to be honest. I mean, beating Jadong and then beating Nada, uh, effortlessly almost beating Nada, beating Jadong certainly was uh, much more difficult, but managed to hold his own against uh, the best Zerg around today. I mean, that's definitely very impressive and, and unexpected, certainly. Um, so, you know, we'll see if Free can uh, can buckle down and, and, you know, give Bisu more of a challenge here than he's been showing in Game 1. I think this is going to be a big establishing map for him. If maybe he can, I don't know what he'll do here, but uh, I hate to say he should go for a four gate games, uh, four gate dragoon attack, much like Stork did. Uh, he might though, just knowing hmm. maybe the mentality coming into this. We'll see. But there, again, there's a lot of options on this map because of the denial scouting. Looks like both. Uh, I'm sorry, it looks like. Um, who <laughs> did I say the six o'clock was that B or is that free? I think that's free. Yeah, free and blue yes. moving across to remembering all of a sudden getting a bit distracted here. Zelt's gonna sort of chase it off but not really um, uh, ushering in and it looks like we're seeing a cybernex core early that's pretty standard early early stuff uh, I guess while we're at it while I'm thinking about it actually I want to give some shout outs I want to give some shout outs to the NRG guys since I have nothing else to really say about this stage of the game I might as well give some shout outs to the guys uh, everybody who participated in the TL show match. I unfortunately could not participate because I was, you know, going to church on like evens. Uh, looks like we got a funny sign there. Do you have any comments about that? Well, I mean, we might as well talk about the elephant in the room. Uh, um, SC2G getting hammered pretty well. Or should we just <laughs> rush over that subject? Well, uh, no, I mean, we we thought about it briefly. Uh, I thought it was a, a fun grudge match um, overall. Uh, I'm sure many of the viewers here have seen it. And, uh, you know, I didn't play exactly great, you know, uh, but... Uh, you know, I'm proud to represent SC2GG, and hopefully, um, hopefully with uh, this, you know, allowing us to blow some steam off, it will be uh, there will be better relations between the two sites. And you know, I've always said yeah. that there's no reasons to have bad relations between these two sites because we're working for such a small foreign community, a foreign StarCraft community, and you know, probably only like 10,000 members at most. You know, people who are really interested. In, so why have any kind of division? But um, I'm sure most That's of our viewers probably have sentiments like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's ultimately what I'm hoping for. Originally, I was slated to play against some my old guy who couldn't make it. Uh, honestly, I can't make it on Sundays anyway. It's my crazy busy days. Looks like we're okay. <laughs> getting back to the game, so it looks like we're actually seeing right. some action going on. Um, robotics facility going up uh, there, and uh, looks like we're having a little bit of mine out there by Bisu. Um, but comparable, well, I guess actually I, I haven't even been able to watch anything yet. Uh, do you think it's worth a watch entertaining and it looks like very intelligently here beast are running down killing the probe that's trying to clear uh, that scout in the meantime here we are four gay goon ha. nice guess there 
Good guess, Diggity. Wow, I am highly impressed. Dang, I think the games were worth a watch. Um, yeah, certainly some of the games were very fun. Uh, Sionic's game was, uh, Sionic Reaver's game against, um, against Rage was especially good. My game was, uh, rather one-sided, to be honest. Uh, you know, it turned out my opponent was a lot better than me. And, uh, I never, s you know, I am not a good player <laughs> in general. Yeah. But, uh, I enjoy playing and, uh, enjoy representing. But anyway, we're seeing the four-gate goons here now from, uh, Free. Of course, uh, this is an all-in move here, uh, by any standard. And we're seeing that this time, Bisu is the one pulling, quote-unquote, the safe build here, going, um, robotics facility and probably, uh, well, I'm going to guess he's going to go Observatory next. Um, yeah, Observatory. Yeah, there we go. Observatory next. So and he's uh, going to be in trouble here, especially if he goes for a Nexus, which he might do. Yeah, one of the things... The question is, is whether he goes for Nexus off that Observatory or not. He's going to need additional gateways, maybe even Reavers alongside to help fight this off. He's going to have a hard time fighting it off either way. And I really like this build on Medusa because you can deny the scout. You can really deny the scout. And the question is, is whether Bisu, because he uh, k killed Freeze earlier, scout the, the, the probe trying to clear that mineral pile, we'll see if he can go up. He's got the robotics facility going now, so he might have a Reaver out to assist. Uh, so could come down to a lot of micromanagement here, but Free's going to be able to push uh, in not too long with a good amount of Dragoons, uh, put the pressure up, and this should this should be a pretty exciting match here. And yeah, he's starting to move out right now. Uh, two Dragoons actually headed in an odd, in an odd direction. I'm kind of curious about this. Maybe he's just trying to be a little bit bluff here, keep maybe two back for defense, or uh, maybe throw uh, smaller numbers just so Bisu isn't wise here. That's a good point, actually. Maybe he doesn't want to develop all his forces at once. But actually, I think he is going to... Maybe just a small micro thing there. Um, but he is going to bring all of his forces into Bisu's choke. Bisu knows what's going on now. And there's not much he can do to stop it, to be honest. Building a pile on there. Oh, wow. There's nothing he can do to stop this. Superior number here. Uh, it's going to just... Superior weight of units is going to come down here. There's no ramp to protect on Medusa, which makes it so good for these uh, fast goon pushes. We're seeing some really good micromanagement from Free, picking off goons one by one there, focusing fire. And uh, fr Bisu just getting surrounded here, that, you know, Dragoon Square Dance here, just going, uh, dancing around Bisu's goons in the 360 arc. And now all Bisu's goons are down. Um, I think this is going to be game here very soon. I don't think, oh wait, no, no, there comes the Reaver. Uh, so uh, I could be wrong. I, I was going to say, I don't think the Reaver is going to come out in time before the next wave comes in. But there's the Reaver from Bisu. Is it going to do enough damage? I think um, if he can manage to hold the Reaver, then he might be able to come back from this. Uh, you know, and, and certainly he's got a shield battery up. So actually, no, the shield battery is going to be depowered, unpowered though pretty soon. Uh, well, actually, no, Pylon, uh, well, Pylon goes away. But um, Bisu looks like he's actually managed to hold. That was, uh, uh, for me, it was unexpected. But I guess he, you know, the timing was decent for him. The question is, is this next attack here, I was actually wanted to interrupt and be like, the Reaver, the Reaver! Uh, the, the next few moments are really going to be critical. What Bisu does with that Reaver at this stage and how long he's going to be secure. He's got that third gateway down now. Fought that out very valiantly and having that Reaver is key. The next wave is really going to be the teller though. Whether he can hold off this next wave of Dragoons, uh, Free is definitely going to be aggressive with this. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, Free's actually grabbing an expansion. It looks like he's just going to uh, continue to persist with this attack. He's not uh, concerned with that. He wants to win this now. Bisu has the spot. He knows this is incoming. Uh, it, he's probably going to have the forces, and with that shield battery and that reaver in place, I'm not sure that Free's going to be able to break this. Yeah, I don't think so either, um, to be honest. After this is spotted, and, you know, Bisu's now converted his entire economy to pumping go Dragoons. And uh, now with a Citadel, too, that's a good counter. If he can get any DTs, uh, you know, it would be over for free, basically, if he can get DTs out. Because free does not, will not have detection at that time, I'm 90% sure. Um, so it's all going to be about surviving this next push, and then Bisu, I think, will take the game. But it's going to come down to whether he can survive this push. But I think... Bisu's arc is very good there. He's got um, probes there to help him out. He's got that Reaver, of course, which is absolutely crucial. And uh, Free's probably going to have to push in within the next minute or so. Uh, he knows that he can't possibly just uh, win with no tech at all other than Dragoons. And he's not expanding either. So it's going to be real bad for him uh, if, he, if he doesn't attack really soon. And it looks like he's just posturing to get ready for the attack. He's got to go now because Dark Templar are, are going to be finished momentarily. He's got to go in with this attack, and he's got to win with this attack because otherwise he's going to be facing Dark Templar inside of his space, or actually, uh, first of all, getting rid of his attack force. And he's starting to attack that temple, but honestly, attacking that temple is not going to get it done. He, it's, he's not going to be able to take that down in time. I think, and now we're putting up a nexus, but those Dark Templar are going to be out momentarily to take out this attack force uh, and not just attack this attack force, do a lot of economic damage. And he's got that shuttle that he, and with that Reaver on the front door, he should be able to drop Dark Templar uh, off of that shuttle. Unless Free picks that shuttle off in route, he's in a lot of trouble here. 
Yeah, we'll see what he uh, decides to do, whether he walks them through or if he um, goes and drops it. Of course, Bisu with the Observer knows there's absolutely no detection of any form uh, inside of um, inside of Free's base there. So, uh, you know, this is going to be real dar difficult for Free. Uh, really, he doesn't have m much he can do at this point. Um, you know, he doesn't know what's going on inside of Bisu's base. And now Bisu pushing forward some lots. And, uh, you know, Bisu is probably seconds away from clearing out his front door should he w decide to do it. Now, okay, here we're seeing the DT drop. Uh, just one DT, I believe, um, for Bisu. Bisu, meanwhile, taking that mineral only behind his base. And, uh, oh, looks like the shells can get intercepted. Probably going to drop the DT, though. It doesn't matter, though. Two DTs dropped, and, uh, you know, they're just going to have to walk a little bit further. But, um, GG! Wow! <laughs> wow, GG! Free realizing there was nothing he could do. That was... Yeah, there was nothing he could do. GG! <laughs> Guess he just didn't want to play that one out. Wow. So a little bit, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say bland, but a little bit uh, unorthodox. Free, very frustrated with himself, as you can see. He had he never attacked. detection, and he never attacked. He just kind of almost, uh, it felt like almost in poker, when you go out without without betting, you just uh, go out uh, just... <laughs> he folded. <laughs> with, with, with the <laughs> initial, the blinds, <laughs> and folded. Yeah, nothing. All right, anyway, going on to game three. Thus far, I would say uh, things going all in Bisu's favor. Thanks for listening, guys.